Okay, this is a special review of ownership of my Winnebago 2020 Horizon 42Q. We purchased this April of 2020 and today is October 2021. So we had it for two summers. I count summers. And in 2020, we spent 71 days in it. I'm sorry, in 2020. And 2021, we spent 91 days in it. So this is gonna be a year and a half review of this motorhome. Now, we just got back from a trip up at Adirondacks. Again, here's the front view. Uh, the driver's cockpit, as I explained before, has a downer digital uh, dashboard from the 2020 era. That's the infotainment center. It's got GPS, Bluetooth, the tire uh, pressure sensor monitors, and there's um, a second monitor here for the passenger, which uh, can mirror exactly what's being seen, including the rear view camera or GPS or the Bluetooth separately. So you can mirror it or you could have two separate things going on at the same time with that unit, which is nice. The seats are made by Villa and they're absolutely amazingly comfortable. Really nice. And I like the colors too. I like that wine color. All right, let me turn around here. Hang on a minute. Oh, there's my beautiful driveway. Had to build a good driveway for this thing. So as we look at the uh, living area, which we spend most of the time in, it has the beautiful L-shaped villa sofa. And uh, it's really comfortable. The TV is on a televator. And uh, we can do that right now and show you how that works. It's nice to have where the TV could go down and you have more view out these beautiful windows. The fireplace keeps things nice and warm. We've used it in the winter and uh, when we head down to Florida. 50 inch. The TV is really nice, nice smart TV. And we can stream at all these campgrounds. It's really nice. Let me put that back down. One of the selling points we liked about this motorhome was the windows. The view you get. Here's the uh, dinette area. Uh, we do have two leaves for that table. Uh, we usually just put one on. The table actually adjusts. And I don't know if I can move it here. I can't move it because I need an assistant to videotape. The chairs are very comfortable. Very modern. The uh, uh, Lounge chair, I usually, once we get to our destination, I flip around and it's one of my favorite seats because you can look out the window on the driver's side. I mean, the whole side is a window on the driver's side. And I'll tell you, that is nice. It really is. Same thing on the passenger side. The windows are just really nice. Even in the kitchen window, fairly large. Uh, the other thing I really enjoyed during um, this year and a half of owning this is lots of storage up on top. Matter of fact, we don't even use it all. Uh, a lot of the storage compartments, and we moved from a 40 foot to this 40 foot, 43 foot. They're all carpeted really nice. There's no handles. It opens from underneath, and we like that a lot. Again, the, it's hard to show all what it looks like, but here's this one here, I keep all the remotes in this big contraption here. I bring them in in the winter, of course. I don't want to leave the remotes out in this winter time. Not good for batteries. So they're big. They have a lot. We got a, a lot of junk in them. <laughs> and also we have some cabinets we didn't fill up yet. So, But lots of room. I could keep things in the cabinets and not in the motorhome. That's what's good about this. And the most enjoyable part of the living area 
is that when you're sitting here and you're watching TV, you got a good view of everything outside motorhome. Views are tremendous, and you can see the light is just tremendous. The sun's coming in from the front, and you just can see the, it's all lit. You don't need lights on, really, in here. Um, I use that little box there to keep our wine bottles in and things like that. When we're traveling, I don't like to put wine bottles in cabinets. Uh, a lot of storage in here. We keep some books in there. Vicki does her online teaching right here. This is her basically her office. And again, the nice thing about this, and, and, you know, it's hard to do it one-handed. The nice thing about this thing, you can move it. Move this all the way back here. And look at all the room she has over on this side. So you could adjust that table from the back to the front. And so when she's working, basically teaching online, that's her desk. It's great. Look at the view she got. I mean, can't beat that. The uh, large Samsung refrigerator is just tremendous. I mean, it's bigger than all money got in the house. It's off right now, but you can see all the room we have in here. Um, it didn't come with this with locks so i finagled some velcro locks i got at amazon for 10 bucks so it worked great these locks work great the um storage is tremendous in the kitchen too the drawers are gigantic let me just give you an idea how big they are i mean we got too many utensils and then again another large drawer here and a third one down here, which isn't even full yet. This here is a nice big drawer. Put some pots and pans in. Again, there's more room. And we need the induction uh, pots and pans are nice. This is really nice, too. We like it where they put the uh, dishwasher on the upper drawer. It's I can't open it because it's locked, but... It's a typical dishwasher. It's the Fisher Pickel dishwasher. We like that. And we like it that it's matching the drawer. It's matching the cabinetry from Italy. And then here, it's fairly large. I mean, we don't even have it filled. Keep the coffee pot down there. There's garbage down there. And there's more room down there for little steps and cleaning utilities. Very nice. Really. The induction cooktop, Vicki learned how to use that really quickly. She likes it a lot. It works really well. Uh, we cooked everything in this convection microwave. And we brought meals from uh, Home Chef and Hello Fresh with us on the road, which is nice. You just put them right in there. It's great. Uh, and again, a lot of room. No one's going to bump in each other in this water home. I mean, just look at the room we have right here in the kitchen area. The table is six feet away from the counter. <laughs> we have 30 inch slides. All the slides are 30 inch. They're 30 inches wide, wide, wide width. The bathroom, what I did, uh, because there's no window in it, I put one of these automatic lights in there. So when I open a door, it's a motion sensor. It will come on for 90 seconds or while you're moving in here. And then you can always turn on the bathroom lights once you're here. So it's an add-on I did. It's got lots of room. Again, this is a half bath, which is some people could use as a full bath without a shower, you see. And again, lots of storage. I mean, we didn't use it all. The shelves we didn't use yet in this motorhome. Just putting stuff in there. And again, more storage under here. Got our Swifter here. And our chemicals. Very nice. This is not a cabinet. That's access to the plumbing. Uh, it's got a residential fan in there, which is okay. I'd rather have a fantastic fan in there, I would think. But I can see why they leave residential there, because you have it on all the time. Even in rain, you can turn it on. So it's nice about that. But I kind of rather have a fan. another fantastic fan. We do have one in the kitchen right by the, the stove so that's one fantastic and we use that quite a bit when we're cooking of course now to come to the bedroom look at the room you have if you have the bed up it does 
Uh, the head does uh, go up. It's an air mattress, adjustable for each side. The, the head has to come up for the slides to come in. It's no big deal. Easy to make, easy to get around. Um, that does have uh, power and USB on both sides. The USB and power over here, they work real well. I kind of lay my phone right there. Uh, not much shelving here, but we don't use much shelving. There is some shelving on the side here as a bed. You know, so you got shelves and you can put your glasses there, remotes, and those shelves. Or like Vicky does, she puts her water bottle right here. Uh, again, more storage up above. These are very big. Every cabinet has carpet in it. And you can see we didn't even fill this thing up. We got our games in here. Huh. Games we play when we have a rain day and can camp in an RV. In. The bed is very comfortable. Very nice. Now over here, now this is the opposite end from the bed. They have these doors you can close and make things look nice and neat. We keep them open while we're parked, but when we're driving, we close them, or if we have company. And inside here, we have the 40-inch TV. These Samsons are really nice, just like the ones you have in the house. They both have a sound bar. This one has a JBL short one, and the one up front has a, a larger Samsung sound bar. The drawers are just tremendously gigantic. I mean, we don't even use them all. I mean, really, I mean, this is my drawer, and I put the dog's toys in here, and the remotes for the TVs in the back, but I don't even use that drawer. And then we each have one of these drawers, gigantic. And Vicky doesn't keep a lot in the boat home, but I do. This is all my stuff. I keep all my stuff in here. I don't take anything out. So that when I go, I don't worry about packing. And then that's the drawers and then over here is the closet let me turn the light for the closet closet's very big for my side more than i need uh, i also keep the leaf of the table back and back and also an ironing board back there uh, it has a nice shelf so i keep my jeans here and some extra shoes for hiking and then two more drawers i mean they're not even full i got my my dog's bandanas here storage in my drawer everything goes in my drawer and then a second large drawer so we both have our own closet two extra drawers and that's more we need i don't know if a walk-in closet would give us more let me open up hers here how she did hers she keeps her barbells in here she does a lot of workout so again she don't keep her clothing here i do but you can see how big it is and then again, her drawers are the same size as mine. She got hers full of shoes. <laughs> My God, how many shoes she need? I don't know. This one, she don't even have anything in it yet. <laughs> We've been in here a year and a half, and she didn't fill up the motorhome yet. That's a miracle. So that's with the bed up. And again, you have a ton of room. But when we're parked, we have the bed down. So let me show it while it's down. I'm going to bring this down. Let me do it and I'll get back to it. So this is with the bed down. And you can see how much room we have. Tons of room. Tons of room here. Let me just close that. Turn off the wardrobe lights. Uh, the bedroom has just two windows in it. They open. You can see they open on the sides. So it's not the brightest bedroom, but... The light you get from the bathroom when you have the shade up. I have the shade down here because we don't want the sun coming here all the time and cooking things. But with the shade up and the skylight from the bathroom, it sheds enough light into the bedroom where you get enough light. Uh, it also has a fan, and the fan works great. It has high and low. Vicky likes to use that at night. That's her favorite thing, the fan. In the bathroom here... This is without any lights on. It's bright as day. And the sun's not even in this area. I'll turn the light on. Again, I like a single sink. It was a selling point for me. Uh, I don't want, we don't want double sinks. Vicky and I don't 
really care for it. We like the way the seat works. We like the faucet. The storage in here is tremendous. Uh, we haven't used it all. These slide out. So, enough storage in the bathroom, that's for sure. And again, these drawers here, very large. Got our stuff in it. And then down here, we keep our... Yeah, actually, we'll use the bottom one for a hamper. And that's our soap for the washer, dryer, and things like that. We haven't even used it all. See, that's the... That down there is the um, vacuum cleaner. The whole house vacuum cleaner. We keep it there and store it there. Uh, the bathroom's gigantic. It really is. Uh, let me open this up. This is... The washer dryer works great. I like it where they're separate. We kind of like that a little bit better than the single one, but you know, the combo one worked fine when we had any other motor home. This works too. And these doors slide back out of the way. This opens up so you have a lot of room to work here. So if you're doing laundry, and this thing really works nice. Really nice. The shower works great. Lots of room in it. It's one of the biggest showers I've ever seen in a motor home. They say it's 40 by 30. It's got a skylight. skylight. The electronic flush toilets are nice. Convenient. Uh, we do like this uh, barn door. The clothes for the bathroom. So that's the barn door for the bathroom. That's nice. Locks well. It has to while you're traveling. You know, it has to have a good lock on it. It never slid around. Same thing with the uh, sliding door for the privacy in the bedroom. So lots of room. Really like it. Uh, the only thing I wish they did, we have the whole house vacuum here. They didn't put in the sweep report like we had in our old motor home. You could sweep into it. I think that was stupid. I mean, what did they save? I mean, especially when you have a motor home with tile. That, that could have been a, a nice thing to have, you know. But they didn't do it. They just didn't do it. Uh, so that's the inside. And I tell you, we have lots of room in here. Uh, we could sit easily on the sofa. Four to five people. No problem. One in the lounge chair. And then we flip these two chairs. That's seven. We could sit eight in here without any problems. All right, let me go outside. I'm going to show you the compartments. Because that's what they do, these guys. They but, you know, they show you the compartments empty. I'm going to show you 18 months of use compartments. Look at all the room we got. We still didn't use it all. I got some chairs underneath there. We have our grill on our slide out. I'll pull it out. We got containers that aren't full. I got some water here left over from our last trip. So... The nice thing about this compartment, it's tall. Look at the room you have between the slide out and our ceiling. You see? I could even put more in here, but I don't. And on the pad, driver's side, if you get to it, no problem. Slide out, nice. We got a portable dish we <laughs> never use. And our subwoofer here and some cleaning equipment. But see. It's got a lot of, a lot of room. Now this compartment is not the biggest, but big enough. We have our uh, rugs in here, a table, and the dog's pen. They fit in there perfectly here. It's not deep, but it's perfect for the rugs. So, and then this compartment has our refrigerator freezer in it. Works great. I, that is really a big plus. Boy, I tell you, when you're out here watching TV easy to grab a beer or a soda really nice and i got some emergency equipment over there some flares things like that i got a power washer portable one i put in there i got at walmart and then the back compartment has your typical chassis batteries and things like that and i'm not gonna show all that so uh, the other side you have your typical wet bay power bay my aqua hot in the back compartments so really the only storage you have from the other side is this double compartment and that's enough uh this little 
doors for our propane hookup. So when we want to grill, we could hook it right there with a connector and we could grill outside. I have a 20 foot cord uh, hose for that, gas hose. But they did give us some propane, a propane tank uh, in the same compartment as a uh, our, uh, stu our uh, Now, one more thing I should mention about the kitchen area, which I didn't mention before, is we like this. They put this garbage can out uh, in a compartment outside, and you could use it as a garbage can, but we actually use it to save our spring water bottles so we get our nickels back. And I forgot to show this. We got power and USB there, and that works out real well for us in the living area. We also have another one on the other side I didn't show, but there's one on that side too. Uh, but that really turned in pretty good. We, we we use spring water when we're traveling. We don't drink campground water. And so we just toss our bottles right down that chute. And then we uh, bring them back and get our, actually now we get six cents. So that was a nice thing. And the other thing I didn't show was, this comes in handy too, I keep my, tea in here and other things things when we don't want to have out on a can you know, on the countertop so that's a nice thing too very nice uh nice kitchen area we love the big sink and the uh, and it's a single sink we like that a lot the barn style sink is the way to go too so that was the other thing i forgot to mention also when i added throughout the motorhome in a few spots i added these and uh, so we have extra USBs and extra plugs. And I have one there I put, and I put another one in the bathroom. So there's USBs everywhere. We even have USBs back over here, along with power. So there's enough power and USBs, and they're kind of out of the way and hidden, so you don't need to, uh, you know, I have wires all over the darn place. So that's a good thing, too. So now, all in all, as a final evaluation of this motorhome, we are really glad we bought this thing. It's very roomy. It's something we could definitely live in for two months at a time or longer. And the views are just precious. It just, you could see, if you're, if you're parked on a lake, on the driver's side or the passenger side, you're going to get a view or the front. Or anywhere the mountains you know glacier yellowstone where we're gonna go next year but all in all we're very happy i'm very happy with this chassis it's got that freightliner maxim chassis that they don't make anymore with the tag axle it drives like a dream oh my gosh i could drive for hours and not get tired way different than the other motorhome uh so that's it that's the whole works um People ask, how's the heating and air conditioning in these things? Well, we use it in the wintertime going to Florida. The heat worked great from the aqua hot. Kept us nice and warm. The air conditioners, we have three 13 and a half units. They work fine. I mean, we're out in Glacier this past summer. It was 101 degrees. <laughs> we hit the Glacier with their record, and it worked fine. We were cool in here. We are in the 70s, mid-70s. I think it kept about 74 degrees in here. No problem. Cool enough for me. And this is just my beautiful motorhome. I have to thank Winnebago for this beautiful motorhome they built. This modern design is what I wanted. Thank you, thank you very much, Winnebago.